Welcome to this episode of Video Drone. We're out here on Lake Huron with the Phantom 3 Standard. It's been a while since I've flown this guy, so I figured uh, I'm out here. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to take it for a flight. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to arm it and take it up. And I think I'm going to arm it and take it up. The home point has been updated. Take off. Now I've got the master air screw props on here. I had one viewer ask about it. It does sound a little bit different. I don't run my copters to the nth degree of battery life, so um, I don't know if it extends the life of it. Some people say, you know, you get an extra minute or two of time on it. I really don't know, but uh, I do like them. I think they're okay for the money, but enough talking. Let's, let's go ahead and take this guy out. And I tell you what, this guy is super fast compared to the Spark. And so we're taking it up. So let's uh, let's just uh, yacht around there for Norbert. I'm not sure why the image is. I don't know if it's the phone or what, but the image is looking a little bit dark. And I don't know if it's just I'm used to the DJI Go 4 app now or what. Um, but. Uh, just kind of looking around, making sure everything's clear. I can definitely see it out there. So uh, I've got the uh, Architect antennas on here, so I got lots of range on this guy. Um, so I'm just kind of pulling this around. See, and I'm only up about 17.2 meters. I'm going to kick it up a little bit more. And. Uh, I'm going to push this around, take it out to the horizon a little bit more. I'm out uh, 300 feet. I tell you, this guy goes out fast. You can see him a lot further than the spark, too. So I'm just kind of pushing him out there. And we're just trying to see. Yeah, I'm interested to compare the uh, video footage. Uh, from the screen. Yeah, I can see this guy out there. I'm, I'm out 1,500 feet and I can still clearly see that white dot in the sky. That's just freaking amazing. So again, I'm just kind of pushing more. And uh, I don't know. I have to be getting out, getting heading towards those buoys, those shipping buoys. I don't know what this I'm almost out 3,000 feet. Image transmission signal weak. Let's see if I can get out a thousand meters. I'm out three thousand feet. I'm out over three thousand feet. And I can just still see this dot hanging around out there. It's just amazing. Remote controller signal weak. I'm gonna turn this guy back. Whoops, what's what's that over there? Let's say turn it on. That's a sailboat. So I must be out there by that sailboat. At least in close proximity. Let's gimbal down and take a look. Battery life on this guy lasts a whole lot longer than the Spark too. I mean, I'll, you know, basically double the time. So um, that's another nice thing about it. I'm only down to 86%. You know, I have weak image transmission signal, but um, which is a little surprising because the Argitech, but I am out there over 3,000 feet. I'm out there, you know, uh, well, I'm at 1,100, uh, 1,000, I'm trying to read this, 1,106 meters. That's what I'm out there. It's tough reading a small screen with reading glasses. I'm also shooting this in DSIN like, so I'm trying to read some other stuff, and this is also 2.4K rather than my typical 1080p. So, um, you know, RJ May keeps razzing me about 4K, and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. Um, I'm thinking about over the um, uh, winter getting my 107 and maybe doing some upgrading. I haven't fully decided yet. Um, still a lot of stuff to decide. So, oh, hey, look at how opportune is that? I think Boat Nerd lied to me. Uh, because we have a ship coming up. And 
I've now lost it. So the ship coming up over there. So I just need to turn and find my position. I think I need to turn back this way, Joe. I had turned to look at it and I separated Whoa. myself from the video signal. Signal lost aircraft returning to home. So I'm gonna let it come back in a little bit and then I'm going to stop the return to home because I've got lots of battery. I want to get it in under a thousand. So I'm, I'm pretty safe. I'm going to stop return to home stop there. Stop going home. And... Still saying my image is weak. Come on. Don't let me down, Phantom. Okay, so I should be having, I should have, if I center the bridge, I can't really see the ship in the video, but I surely will see the ship as it gets closer. Um, I'm going to actually swap these out for my other glasses, my higher powered glasses. I'm going to have to set this down for a minute, guys. And get my higher-powered readers out. See, higher-powered higher readers? Old men require higher-powered readers. All right, this is, uh, this is better. So now i got to get back into shade so I can see this. Um, I still really can't see the... Uh, You really can't see the ship in the thing. I've got to be having it in the video. I think it's got to be somewhere about there. It should float in the video. I still have plenty of power for it to come up. So I'm just going to hang there for a second, see if it gets closer and if I can see it. It's rather dark. So... So I believe it's right there in the center of the, the sort of center of the picture. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get more of contrast to gimbal up a little bit more. Because I believe that's where we're at. I wish you could pinch and zoom on the screen to zoom in on stuff. Uh, The responsiveness isn't as tight as, as the Spark, but I think part of it is my getting used to. Um, this has a three-axis gimbal. The Spark obviously has a two-axis gimbal. So you notice the yaw movements a lot tighter in the uh, Spark than you do, I think, the Phantom, because it sort of has to adjust itself. So again, you know, shooting this in 2.7K, uh, I believe. Yeah, 2.7K, 30 frames. And we see the uh, ship coming up on the on the sailboat out there. So I believe the sailboat is a bit in the foreground. And so yeah, I have to be spot on. So if, if you notice, I'm pointing it directly this way. I've got good lock. If I turn to look at the ship, I really lose that. So still got tons of battery life. So I'm just going to hang out there and see. I might, um, I might try a, ti a time lapse or a hyper lapse with this too. I don't know.
All right, so we're starting to run down on battery a little bit, so the ship is out there, so I'm going to start issuing a return to home. No, I don't want to land aircraft now. I keep pushing the wrong button on this. I'm not even sure why they actually do that. So I'm going to go ahead and issue return to home, and I'm going to bring this back around. So he's coming back around, so he should be headed back in. I'm only about 800 or so meters out, so it shouldn't be too bad. There it is. I can actually see it coming back now. So, boy, it just amazes me from uh, flying the Spark to flying this guy, how big of a difference it is, and uh, again, how far you can see this versus the Spark. So, again, we're coming in. We're at about 600 meters. We're coming in about 33 meters up see the props in the picture. I kind of like that in a way, seeing the props in the picture. It kind of gets me excited, you know, I don't know. Kind of like the smell of nitro at a racetrack, you know, the image of props in a video is just... Uh... So again, we're, uh, we're not coming up on pretty low battery. I'm still okay pretty good on my controller, so that's a good thing. And we should be getting fairly close now. I kind of lost a little spot. I had seen it a little bit earlier. Uh, so she's still, she still weighs out there over the lake. So uh, ah, there it is. Got it in sight. Easily in sight. I was looking a little too high. I don't know if you can see it on the hat cam. But it's coming in right at 12 o'clock. So right there. And man, this thing is moving. I tell you what, folks, this thing just moves. And hopefully it's going to stop. Battery warning. I always get nervous at that last point before it stops. And again, we're coming down. Just make sure everything's clear. Landing. And she's working her way down. Again, beautiful shots over the lake today. I tell you what, Phantom 3 never disappoints either. So, uh, just really a great overall copter. Might have to back it up a little bit. Whoops. Pointing forward, Joe. And let's see, odd background. Yeah. Let's give you a view of the lake landing it. And then so. And we're going to set it down. It wanted to get too close to the water. And so we locked it out. We've landed. I want to save the video. And video is saved. Low battery. Great flight over Lake Huron. With the DJI, I want to say Spark. It's the Phantom 3 standard. We got it out of retirement. Now we've got the uh, brackets on here. I have some cards for that. I've been very really happy with the brackets. How has things flown? So again, uh, no complaints. This guy, great flying bird. Highly recommend it. So I'll tell you what, let me know what you guys are thinking about for lunch today. And we'll see you guys all in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.